Becky, and this is Becky's Homestead. Today, we're going to be talking about electrical. I'm at that point in my cabin where we're installing the electrical. We are learning as we're going, so today we're going to show you how to install a can light. And here's a can light. It does look a little scary, but we basically are just reading the instructions, and then we are going to go inside and install it. My oldest son has stopped by and he's going to demonstrate how it's stalled. installed. Let's go! So you have the little can, so to speak, where the light bulb will be. And then on the side of that, you have the little square electrical box where all the wiring will be. So Scott's up there on the ladder and we read the instructions. It's pretty simple. He needs to hammer in the little tabs that hold the lamp in place. We need to adjust the lamp to the position we want it. And after that, he screws it in very securely. And then he squeezes the tabs with the pliers to lock that in position forever. Okay, we're back. Well, that looked easy enough. Now we're gonna look into the Homestead mailbox. We have a letter from Mike and Marcia from Sykeston, Missouri. They write in and ask, I'm curious to know if you and your husband work an outside job or do you just homestead alone? Well, I'd like to just bring out the point that homesteading as a job and as a lifestyle are two different things. We choose to homestead as a lifestyle. So my husband does work an outside job which is a good thing if you work an outside job because you can have your insurance, your 401k, and those kind of things that you can get from a job. So those are pluses. The point is, if you simplify your life enough, you don't need a big fancy job to support yourself. You can just get a nice modest job and it cuts back on the stress. Thanks for watching. I'm Becky. Happy homesteading! We're going to show you how to make a feed barrel, an inexpensive feed barrel trough out of a barrel. You throw me when you're back there talking like that. <laughs>